What is going on? XRP went completely crazy today, going to $1.85 just after we made a video where we said we're going to either hit $1.90 or a steep correction. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It is insane. And I think this is all happening because we've been stalling, waiting on this for months, and XRP is finally catching up to some of the gains we deserved by holding XRP over some of these other altcoins. Make sure you press the like button if you are an XRP holder. And of course, I gotta start with my normal intro, I guess, huh? Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto update. Today, I want to tell you guys two things. One, about what's happened to XRP. Really interesting situation right now with all of this. And second, I want to talk about what is so important about tomorrow. Why is Bitcoin pumping right now? Why is everybody so ecstatic about crypto right as we speak? I want to update you guys all about that. I have already made a video yesterday, almost two days ago now, on my second channel called 5 Minute Crypto. Go subscribe to that one too. It is basically about Coinbase's IPO, which is coming out tomorrow. I also posted on Twitter a little tweet, I guess, about the Coinbase IPO price right now because it is said to be about $100 billion, right? But the price per Coinbase stock is already so insane that I believe they're going to be valuing it at like $150 billion or so within a freaking snap just like that. I think right now it's being fed at about $135, maybe $140 billion, but pretty soon I think it's going to be maybe $150 to even $200 billion, like really, really closely here. And that is really crazy for me to just think of. But that also leads to two things. One, a lot of people just buying Bitcoin in anticipation of this listing, as this will allow a lot of kind of, re no, I don't want to say retail, but institutional grade investors who don't want to involve themselves with crypto to actually kind of go for a hybrid, right? To go for the middle. And that is ultimately going to really be really uh, positive for cryptocurrencies. So that is really a huge part. And that is something which is really going on right as we speak. This is tomorrow, the IPO. And that is also why a lot of people are buying, basically anticipation of people entering Coinbase. And Coinbase is really bullish on Bitcoin. You guys get it, right? You guys get the whole situation. Now, because they're really excited about Bitcoin, about Coinbase, Coinbase, as of this point, does not list XRP, eventually will. There's two things to say there. One, they're buying anticipation, and since Bitcoin is going up, XRP is automatically going up. And the second part, of course, is the bigger Coinbase gets right now, the bigger that this announcement of Coinbase relisting XRP will hit. And oh my days, could that be a crazy move? And I'm really waiting for that. Then a question I saw a couple of people ask is, with Ripple being out in front right now, will Grayscale regret liquidating its XRP holdings? That was so funny to me. How there's going to be so many people right now are really just sad that they sold their XRP. That's one part. And of course, that are kind of wondering like, hmm, why did these exchanges now relist? Because they would have made so much money. And we're all right now just gaining in terms of price because, well, people are getting confidence in this lawsuit. Like, the whole XRP price debacle here is all about the freaking faith in Ripple, faith in XRP, faith in lawsuit. It's gaining, gaining, gaining. All these guys delisted it. All these guys lost out on millions of dollars, maybe billions of dollars. Who knows? But BitTrue, Uphold, and whatnot. Uphold right now is even down, you guys told me. I even asked on Twitter just now to quickly verify that because I wasn't sure. Um, but... You guys all quickly went in to say, yes, Uphold is not working for you guys. Uphold's not working. That's the main place which people in the U.S. are buying XRP right now. I am really feeling as if that's a, a big thing, keeping people back. Like, look at this right now. I just tweeted it out. People are saying, yeah, it's been tripping. Took a minute to log in. Binance has been messing up right now. Almost every exchange is messing up right now. But specifically, XRP is getting and things go bad, huh? Yeah, it's the system. It's the way it goes, guys. But that is not it for today. That is all just sad for them. We don't really care about that because the relistings will ultimately do so much good for the price that, oh, it's going to be insane. This is what's interesting. XRP ETP to be listed on Europe's third biggest stock exchange. Woo! The six Swiss exchange will list an exchange traded product backed by the controversial XRP crypto. The reason this is so important is because, well, even though all those guys are actually getting rid of, 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 getting rid of XRP, we're getting some power again. There are some places who actually want XRP because they know that's where the money is. That's where the people are. This is what they want. Now, London headquartered crypto money manager CoinShares has announced the launch of a new XRP exchange fund product. It'll trade on Zurich-based Six Swiss, the third largest stock exchange in the world, with a total market cap of $1.6 trillion under the XRPL ticker. Each unit represents 40 XRP tokens that are currently worth about $68. <laughs> that is also so crazy. 40 XRP tokens, $68? Is that true? Let's type it in quickly. Uh, 40 XRP is about, hmm, $1.80. 
That's about $72 right now, but all right, all right. The base fee of the XRP ETP is set at 1.5% per year. This April, CoinShares, the largest European asset manager, also launched a similar product for Litecoin. Earlier this year, the company also introduced ETPs backed in Bitcoin and Ethereum. But that is really huge for XRP, guys. This is most likely quite a good part as to why the price is doing so well right now. Like this, this second spike right now. I think it might have to do with this ETP. This is extremely, extremely, extremely bullish on XRP. This is really beautiful. Now, before, I guess a little bit of the sad story about it. U.S. asset managers have ditched XRP. The, the launch of CoinShares XRP product comes after multiple U.S. money managers moved to ditch the token due to a lawsuit brought against affiliated company Ripple by the U.S. SEC. Bitwise removed XRP from its index fund the following day after the lawsuit was announced. Grayscale, the largest crypto asset manager, dissolved its XRP trust in mid-January in response to the agency's action. Despite the regulatory woes in the X uh, oh, U.S. XRP continue... Oh, despite the regulatory woes in the U.S., XRP continues to trade on a on a slew of global exchanges such as Binance and Huobi, setting new volume records. As reported by you today, Swiss Like is so far the only exchange that has caved in to relist XRP movement. I'm not exactly sure about that, to be honest. I believe that there was quite a couple of exchanges, but the only thing I don't know is, for example, Crypto.com. Have they also relaunched it for U.S. customers or only for people in, like, Europe and stuff like that? I'm not, I'm not too aware of it. It's also because I really don't care too much. I know all these small exchanges doing it, they're not going to matter, right? But I guess this exchange, Swiss Leica, is already, I guess, a, a nice little pioneer in their field. I'm not exactly sure what they call it. It's good, but it's not really that amazing. You guys feeling me? Like, a realistic like that on a really small exchange, it's okay. But this is the type of stuff that we want. And I got more articles on that. I got more. Let me quickly see here. Let me quickly see what else we got. Ripple price forecast. XRP bullish buyers continues to dominate three white soldiers. So the only reason I actually have this one open is because there's a really bullish bias which has taken over. Just people right now are more so bullish than bearish. It's taken over like crazy because, well, they're going to win the loss. So we all know it. The price has gone up. So people are, generally speaking, just really bullish on XRP, which is going to kind of continue on with more bullish momentum and so forth. It's like a kind of a domino effect, right? XRP also a little bit earlier today actually took over the third position in market cap. It took over Binance, guys. It really happened. I was watching it live. And look at it right now. It's just battling with BNB. This price is a little... Yeah, there we go again, guys. You see? XRP number three in the freaking rankings just like that. Oh, we have waited on this for so long. There were so many people laughing at it, but look at it now. I know, guys, if you're going to watch Coin Market Cap, it's not going to be on top because uh, Live Coin Watch here actually gets in Korean exchanges too. They, they take the volume inside. For example, as you can see here, the Korean volume is also inside there, but that's a freaking billion dollars. That is relevant in my opinion. XRP right now is trading at about 81 cents on most other platforms. So should it be above BNB right now? That is debatable. That is definitely debatable, but it is above there every so often right now. It is still happening and it's really freaking interesting to watch in my opinion. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, let's quickly see. Ripple executives moves to completely throw out SEC suit. A lot of people have been clickbaiting with this, I think, but... Now, they really haven't thrown out the SC suit. Ripple has basically proposed, and I should say Brad Gollinghouse and Chris Larson, to throw the motion, or basically the whole lawsuit against them specifically, out of the window. That's their motion to dismiss. It will take one month to see a response on that one. Now, one little thing about Gary Gensler. It's coming out in a couple of hours. We're still waiting on it. No new news has been uh, found. Just quickly saying that. CoinShares, which we just already talked about, is launching an XRP ETP as a digital asset near $2. It's going so completely crazy, guys. Quote, at CoinShares, we build innovative product in response to demand from our clients. <laughs> That's good to hear. Once we determine that a professional caliber product is feasible and that it appears that demand exists to make a liquid market for trading the product, we bring the product to fruition, leveraging the extensive trading custody and compliance capabilities of the CoinShares group. And oh my days, guys, I'm so freaking happy. I am so, this is wrong. It's a 1.5, not 150. Oh, it's actually maybe percent points. So maybe it's like a, what? Mm. No, this is just per annum. This is just per year. So they just have it wrong. It's not a base fee of 150%. <laughs> I'd be a little bit dumb. That would be a little bit high on my, uh, in my perspective. But all right. Yeah, we're also getting really close to all-time high for XP, guys. I, I was also tweeting that out already. Then I guess the second part I should say is, man... There is almost no way that crypto is going down anymore. The only question should be, what is going to happen tomorrow to Bitcoin as we got that Coinbase IPO? What is going to happen to it? I don't really have any speculation. I don't really know, to be completely honest with you. I don't know. But the longer term is set. There is no way that this is going anywhere. And the banking sector, blockchain slash banking is only going to be growing. And a lot of these companies will eventually 
get some type of connection going on to Ripple, I personally think. Let's quickly see. Bitcoin hits record before landmark Coinbase list going to NASDAQ. Going to be going into the history books. One of the most important days for crypto ever. This is definitely one of the most important weeks for crypto. And one of the most important weeks for XRP. As one more week from now, we got another lawsuit day. But this whole lawsuit right now is really unfolding. This right now is where people are showing their ultimate faith in XRP. Hitting all-time high while they're being sued. That would be the most bullish thing for the lawsuit as well. Because that shows... The whole XRP price is not based upon Ripple's actions. Ripple isn't really announcing any actions right now. They really haven't gone up with any really crazy partnerships right now or anything regarding ODL. This is all people just knowing what is about to come. People know it without Ripple's efforts. And then the biggest event in crypto this week isn't Coinbase listing by Eric Forhays. I would kind of say that I would, I, mean, I would personally say the biggest event of this week is definitely XRP going against all expectations. Or you might say Bitcoin breaking all time high. But Eric Forhey says Thor Chain goes live tomorrow. Native cross chain decentralized exchange never been done before. Arguably the biggest event in crypto this week, though it may not be obvious for a year or two. Join us at Clubhouse tomorrow to discuss. And I can quickly say a big thumbs down. I don't really agree with that. <laughs> Look at this one. They don't even support XRP from the start. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. This one, once more, really good thing. I really love to see it. XP ETP, meaning once more, a lot of money is going to come in, guys. They already did Bitcoin and all of those, but right now XP is added to the list too. Woo! That is looking very juicy, everybody. Make sure you press the subscribe button if you want more daily crypto updates. Right now, XP is going nuts, so a ton of videos are coming out. Eventually, we might calm down a little bit because, of course, I don't want to spam you guys all with too much news. But this is it's going so crazy, I just had to update you guys. I just had to.